Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? Devin the Dream Haney is taking full advantage of this Ryan Garcia situation. Full advantage. When you look at the landscape of Devin Haney's career leading up to this fight, um, you know, Devin Haney has always been a hard worker, a guy that's staying in the gym, focusing on his craft trying to get better every single time out. And, you know, it took him a while to kind of, you know, start to get his respect, you know, even when he worked his way up to be a mandatory for Lomachenko, people didn't respect it. And, you know, he pursued the fight with Lomachenko, pursued a fight with Teofimo Lopez. He was calling out the Tank Davises of the world. He was calling out you know, um, anybody that was around his weight class that was a potential threat. Nobody really took him serious. Then he, you know, became undisputed. People still tried to shit on him. You know, they say, well, now you got the the hardware, you got the, the titles, the championships. We can't call you an email champion no more. But you still ain't got no power. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't sell no fights. You know, and Devin Haney just continued to work, continued to work, continued to work amidst in the midst of, you know, all the negativity and all of the, you know, the bullshit, right? People glorifying all of the, the things that's wrong with boxing and not a fighter like Devin Haney who's doing all of the right things, right? So, you know, he become undisputed. Then you move up to 140 and you fight a, a puncher like Regis Prograde. This is after defeating Lomachenko, getting over that hurdle, you know, where he shows some different aspects of his, of his game with the the body punching and the ability to come forward and walking walking Lomachenko down in the first six rounds and then withstanding the the onslaught and the the attack of Loma in the ninth round of that fight you dig what I'm saying uh I, what was that was it the ninth I think it was the eleventh round it was between the ninth and eleventh that's when Loma started to come on in that fight and Haney withstood that and then came out and won that twelfth round. A lot of people still don't respect that performance from Devin Haney. So what he do, he go up and you fight Regis Progre at 140, a, a real puncher, a real threat. And he not only dominates every single round, but he dropped Regis Progre. You know, going against the narrative of him not having no power. And then he hurt Regis Progre multiple times in that fight. And then now you have a lot of people talking about, man, well, you know, he too big. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he way too much. He too big. He too strong now. You know, he's on steroids. All this coming, all this going towards a guy who they say is, is pillow fisted, right? So as he continues to elevate and build, he got the accolades. He got the accomplishments. He's got the resume. He's got the skills. And this fight with Ryan Garcia is going to bring all that shit full circle. This is how he's taking advantage of it. You see how there's so many like antics and so much drama surrounding Ryan Garcia and Shakur Stevenson is even coming to the mix talking about if you know if Ryan Garcia can't make it to the fight, I'll step in on 420. Knowing damn well that shit ain't gonna happen. He already had an opportunity to fight Devin Haney, turned it down, but we know you're not gonna be no replacement. On 420, on the zone pay per view, when you got you got to deal with Bob, you know that ain't gonna happen. So, but that just that's more promotion for Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia releases the sparring footage with Tank Davis and Devin Haney. That just stirs up a whole lot of drama and talk about Devin Haney, who whole time while they talking and promoting, Devin Haney is is running in the snow in the mountains training. In the gym, focusing. I just saw an interview with Devin Haney where he said, I'm look, he said, Yeah, y'all been seeing me progress and get better each fight. I'm looking to continue that trend. And he said, and I'm looking to have the best performance I've ever had versus Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney, while everybody is is drinking the Kool-Aid and you know doing all of the leg work for him. And that's another way that he's taking advantage of it because and shout out to Ryan Garcia for actually being a good promoter. And, you know, a guy who 
knows how to talk and market himself, whether it's to his detriment or not, he's shedding a big light on this fight. He's doing, Ryan Garcia is doing most of the promotion, 95% of the promotion for this fight. I ain't going to say 95 because you got to give Bill Haney some credit too with all of the shit that he's doing on social media, the videos, the, you know, the funny videos, the, the back and forth between him and Adrian Broner. All of this shit is going to ultimately shed a light on April 20th, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. And Devin Haney is just working. He's working. So you have this guy, Ryan Garcia, who is obviously outmatched in terms of skill, ability, Every category when it comes to boxing, comparing him to Devin Haney. Devin Haney already knows this, but he's treating Ryan Garcia as if he's fighting Tank Davis or if he's fighting Shakur Stevenson or if he's fighting a Terrence Crawford or if he's fighting this great opponent who is a threat to him. If he's fighting a Teofimo Lopez or he's fighting a Lomachenko, Devin Haney is, is going to be 110% prepared for Ryan. He going to treat this dude like he a real threat and you going to see one of the best performances that you ever seen from Devin Haney, if not the best, because it's the perfect canvas for Devin Haney to paint that picture. You got a guy in there with slow feet. He's underdeveloped. The skill set really ain't there. All he got is speed and power and a nice left hook, which is dangerous. But when you're going against an elite guy like Devin Haney, who's known for stripping away your best weapons, it's going to be a showcase fight for Devin Haney. So not only does... Not only does he get the benefit of Ryan Garcia's promotional prowess and the money that he going to get from the gate and the pay-per-view, because I think this, this fight is going to do really well at the gate in New York, and I think it's going to do really well on pay-per-view, right? So not only, Dev, not only is Devin Haney going to benefit financially from that, he's also going to benefit from this, this, this thing being built up and built up to be an explosion on 420 and having all the eyes on him for the, the Devin Haney fans, the people that actually respect his skill set and ability, and the haters and naysayers, they going to be watching. And you're going to have new people, the casuals who never got a chance to see Devin Haney before. They know Ryan Garcia, but they, they haven't seen Devin Haney, or they maybe saw Ryan Garcia on social media. They might have saw the sparring footage from Tank and Devin because Ryan Garcia released that right. And now this is going to be their first opportunity to, to actually see Devin Haney in action displaying the sweet science. And if Devin Haney goes out there and puts on the performance that I think he's going to put on, like a Floyd Mayweather, Arturo Gotti type of performance, that type of performance, because that's what it should look like. When, it, when the skill difference is that great, that's what it should look like. If Devin Haney puts on that type of performance, I'm talking about hitting Ryan Garcia everywhere except from under the bottom, the, the bottom of his feet. You feel me? Hitting that man on his on his on his face, his shoulders, his chest, his hips, ribs, everywhere but the bottom of his feet. If Devin Haney put on that type of performance and then he stop him. Even if he don't stop Ryan Garcia, if it's so dominant throughout 12 rounds, including a knockdown or two, that's going to be great. But if he stop Ryan Garcia, this shit going to take Devin Haney out of here. It's going to take Devin Haney out of here because people are going to be forced to sit down and watch this skill set. This skill set that they've been, you know, uh, playing to the side and trying to discredit because... You know, he don't have the power that they, you know, but if he stopped, if he hurt Ryan Garcia multiple times, beat him up bad, stop Ryan Garcia, this shit going to take Devin Haney out of here. And every category of fan, whether you're a hater, a, a naysayer, or you actually fuck with Devin Haney, you're a hardcore boxing fan, you're a casual, everybody's going to be forced to sit down and watch this shit. Devin Haney is taking full advantage. He's sitting back and he training and working and sharpening up his game, treating Ryan Garcia like he finna face Floyd Mayweather. While Ryan Garcia is, you know, doing all the antics and all the promotional work and even fighters that's not even going to be fighting that night like Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson and, you know, Floyd Mayweather. Motherfuckers, that's, everybody that's talking about this shit on the outside is helping promote this fight 
And it's being set up for the, as a perfect alley-oop for Devin Haney. All he got to do is go out there and perform. He's going to benefit in every way, financially, notoriety. His pay-per-view numbers is going to go up. So that's going to be on his resume. Y'all like to talk about purses and pay-per-views, right? He going to get the biggest bag he ever got, put on the best performance he ever put on. This shit going to take Devin Haney out of here. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. The performance I'm foreseeing Devin Haney having versus Ryan Garcia is going to take Devin Haney up out of here, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Are y'all paying attention to this shit while all of the hoopla is going on, Devin Haney working? He don't even got to do no promotions. That shit done. <laughs> that shit done. All he got to do is focus on the fight and go perform. And he's going to, he's going to, um, he's going to absorb all of the benefits of it. And all he got to do is go out there and be Devin Haney. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Contender regime boxing. I holler at y'all boys, man.